Hey, it's Anfa. This is a super quick video. I wanted to show you my workflow for creating ARP sequences in Ardor. So here is an Ardor session. Let's say you want to make a C major or better C minor chord ARP. So first, you know, we have our starting section. Uh, when you get handy with the keyboard shortcuts, you can do this stuff really quickly. So I'm gonna, I have my auto return on. I can go, you know, finalize this with an octave. Now I can go to the, you know, I'm, I'm sw switching between the edit mode, pressing the E key, and the grab mode, pressing the G key. In grab mode, I can manipulate the regions. In edit mode, I can manipulate the notes. In grab mode, I can also slice the regions with the S key. It's gonna snap to my mouse and the grid of beats by four. So you can all configure all that stuff to make it suit your needs. Now I can also edit this, Control A, all notes, and I can resize them. That might be what I want. Now you can also change the, like stretch this. T for time stretch, and I can make this twice as fast. Now there is a bug when it makes the region very long. So I just go to grab mode, press S to slice it off, shift right click to delete a region. Now I can duplicate this part. For example, shift D will ask you how many duplications you want. I may say I want eight. But you can also do Alt D, just make it one duplicate. Now I can change the chord. Let's go to A minor maybe. I'm sure this is A minor. Is it? Now oh, I should final end on A again. I'm really not a strong man with the, oh I am at A, so this is not an A minor chord. That's a minor chord. Now I can also shift D free and we have the sequence done. Now what also helps is that you can uh, move the notes around with the keyboard. So say I want to go again to the C, let's make a, uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's make a C minor seven chord. You can just So I created this chord, now I can, you know, just move the notes around. Uh, but I can also move them around in octaves with, with my keyboard, like up arrow moves it up and down one, oct one half step. Uh, and all shift alt up arrow and down arrow moves it up and down an octave. Which is really useful if you want to create inversions of your chords. Because you know you can quickly you know give, have the same chord feel really different if you just change the octaves around. Well, that doesn't sound particularly musical. Also, you can blend or you can merge uh, MIDI regions together. For that, I'm going to use the range tool. Press R on the keyboard, and I'm now in the range mode. I can select a range, right click consolidate range and now I used to have two regions here now I have one which makes it easier to copy stuff or time shifts time stretch stuff so now this is two two times faster again now you can tell how this is uh, shaping the music and like you can be really quick with this let's try and add something else uh, Let's just make some octave sequences. So two octaves up and three octaves up. Now you can't see this right now. Let's change the range of our piano roll. That's a classic. Now let's make this shorter. Now you see my grid of beats by four is not enough to make this as short as I want it. 
However, I don't know if it should make it shorter because it's already pretty much you know, the notes are blending together. Mm, yeah, but we can still do something like this. And the whole sequence. Yeah, we can copy this. And also you can, you know, select your MIDI regions, right click, select the regions, MIDI, transpose, for example. You can move this all up or down by octaves or semi. And, you know, now we have all that. We can also duplicate by control, click and drag. But let me do a weird thing and select this range. However, I'm going to change my snapping to beats by four, maybe again to make sure I am on a point here with my selection. And now right click, consolidate range. Now this is all one MIDI region. I can squish this to fit into two boards. And you can see we can make some ridiculous stuff with this and like uh, despite some minor glitches, uh, Ardor is handling this pretty well. Now, throwing so many short MIDI notes, I would think that something should break, but somehow it doesn't break. Sure, Ardor 5 has some major and minor problems with the MIDI workflow. It's being rewritten in the version 6, uh, that should be way better. Uh, but actually none of that expresses itself uh, during this video, apart from the time stretch bug when the region length becomes ridiculously long. But that's really not a problem. Yep, have fun making ARPs in Ardor. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.